Hey, this is Two Hat Matt from Galaxy Speed Shop USA. When uh, we ran this Traxxas slash four-wheel drive chassis hard at the Essex Junction Skate Park. And as I showed before, we did sustain some damage. Uh, you can see we broke this little link here on the rear spindle. Uh, the camber link is intact, but what, what we're going to have to do is replace the spindle. And when this happens to you, you run them like we do. What you want to get is this Traxxas 1952, uh, two rear spindles. And I would also recommend getting the bearings for this. While you're in there, you might as well replace them. 5116, Traxxas part number. And after a quick down, run down to Mike's Auto Parts and Cold Tester, we picked up these parts and we're going to repair this chassis so stay tuned okay the first thing you want to do what we did is remove the tire by removing the wheel nut and the drive hex and also this little drive pin right here it ties everything together and we're also going to disconnect the broken piece of the spindle and we're going to remove this screw here and clear this entire spindle from the control arm okay now as you can see we've removed the broken off piece of the rear spindle here and the screw that holds it in there and also we've removed the rear hub now there is a washer on the outside. You want to make sure to reuse that. Don't lose it. Uh, we're going to load the new spindle with two new bearings on the inside and the outside. And like I said, don't forget this little washer here. It provides the correct spacing. And we're going to go ahead and do that. Okay, we've reloaded the new spindle with the new bearing, as you can see, on the inside and the outside. Now these bearings easily press in, just push them in, and we're going to reinstall this right in the lower control arm with the original hardware and get this thing back to running shape. Okay, we've reinstalled our new spindle with the new bearing and attached it with this screw on the lower control arm and reattached it to the upper camber link. Uh, and don't forget your washer right here. We're going to install that on the shaft and then install the hex drive uh, and the pin, the drive pin, and we're going to be RTR. Okay, as you can see, we've installed this new spindle, uh, reinstalled the lower bolt, holds it to the lower control arm, and the upper bolt holds it to the camber link. Uh, we've also reinstalled the hex drive and the pin that drives that hex, and all we need to do is reinstall this tire here onto the spindle, and we're good to go. So, if you need to do this, hopefully this was a good video. Peace out and Galaxy Speed Shop USA. Stay tuned.